hello so in this tutorial we will be creating a countdown timer where you can display the remaining time till date so assuming you are receiving your date in php variable from mysql database your date format will be like this year month and date and we will also have hours minutes and seconds now first we need to create a div where we can display the countdown timer we are going to give it an id data and we will create a hidden input field where we will populate the value of date using above php variable Now create a JavaScript tag, create a function which will, will be called. In this function, first we will get this date value document dot get element by id and value. Then we are going to get the current time date new date dot get time it will return the timestamp in milliseconds to convert that into seconds we have to divide that by 1000 and when you divide by 1000 you will get the value in floating points so first we have to make sure that we will get the floating points in zero so we will divide that uh, so we will call a function name to fixed and set the parameter value to zero so it will convert for example if you are receiving this it will convert that into this and now we uh, two fixed will return the value in string so we have to convert that into uh, floating or uh, double value so we are calling a math dot absolute function and wrap inside it now we are going to create a future date we are naming it as day 2 it will be same as above and we are renaming as date value and we will pass this date value in this new date object in date 2 variable now we need to calculate the difference between these two dates date 2 minus date and we have to store that in a variable name diff or difference first let me display that in our data diff document dot get element by id inner html is equal to diff so it should display the difference between these two dates We have to call this function once. So this is the difference between these two dates. Now we have to convert that timestamp into days. To convert that into days, as we know that we have 86,400 seconds in one day, so we are going to divide that. And while dividing, we will also get the value in floating point so we have to convert that into absolute value so we'll call a function named math dot uh, absolute but we will call the function math dot floor so it will round the value to the lowest possible value so we'll display that in days and we will append a string as days so it will display the zero days if i change the value Let's say I am setting that to 10. So now I have 2 days. Similarly, I can convert this different seconds value into hours. We can divide the difference. As we know that we have uh, 3600 seconds in each hour. 
and we will call a match dot floor function around it and since each day has 24 hours so we will modulus the value by 24 and we will also display this our in our output value yes. Similarly, we can create that, uh, convert that into minutes, divide the difference by 60 since each minute has 60 seconds, wrap that into mat.floor and modulus that by 60 because each hour has 60 minutes and display that in output as well. Now we need to convert the seconds. We will simply get the remaining by dividing by calculating the difference of 60 and display that in our output value. Now we need to update it. We can call this. We can call this function in set interval name of function and 1000 means one second so it will call that function each second and we also need to display the leading zeros uh, around hours minutes and seconds so we'll simply write a condition that if the hour value is less than 10 then we will proceed value by zero So the hours now have leading zeros. Same thing we can do for minutes. And for seconds. So let's try by changing the date and setting that to 7. July 23 and 39. So that's how you can display the countdown timer using simple JavaScript. If you face any problem in implementing this in your project, feel free to post your comments in the comment section below.